a very brave survivor came forward and called the sex crimes unit and that's how this investigation unraveled. A high school football coach has been charged with sexually assaulting former student athletes with some of the allegations going back as far as 2004. Kelsey McKay was arrested and charged with five counts of sexual assault, four counts of sexual exploitation, and counts of luring and sexual interference. The offenses are alleged to have taken place when McKay was a teacher and football coach at Winnipeg's Vincent Massey and Churchill High Schools over a period of nearly two decades. None of the allegations have been proven in court. He groomed them. That's, that's what people do. That's what people, this type of suspect does. They groom. Constable Danny McKinnon says she expects more victims may come forward given the length of time McKay was a coach and teacher. McKinnon says the majority of alleged assaults occurred at McKay's home after building trust with his victims. Grooming is something that is um, often related to um, being referred to individuals who, who sexually victimize children who have a, a, an established relationship with kids. Noni Clausen with the Canadian Center for Child Protection says grooming is when a person takes advantage of a pre-existing relationship with a child and uses it to rationalize extended contact with them. What we want to do from a prevention standpoint is identify high-risk behaviors that can lead to grooming or that could be part of grooming so that we are disrupting or intervening. Clausen says it's important to watch for red flags where grooming could be occurring, like one-on-one -on -one hangouts between adults and kids outside of sanctioned activities activities, invitations for children to socialize with adults unsupervised in their homes, or isolating a child from teammates and peers. The way I was groomed, I was pulled away from my teammates. John Michael Lander is a former elite diver who says he was sexually abused by his coaches and says his experience of being groomed extended to a parent and the wider community. In Lander's case, his abuser was so well respected that when he disclosed the abuse taking place to his mother, she didn't believe him. She slapped me and told me that he was, you know, a pillar of the community. Everyone knew him and everyone liked him. Why would I make a lie about him? Lander applauds the former student athletes in this case for reporting their experiences to police and suspects more could come forward. And I have a hard time believing that some of the other administrators at the school did not know. McKay has been placed on unpaid administrative leave from his current position. The Winnipeg School Division says they're cooperating with police. Football Manitoba has responded to the allegations, saying in part, yesterday was a devastating day for the minor football community in Manitoba with news of sexual allegations against a former high school football coach. Our thoughts and support are with the young men for having the courage to step forward. The Sex Crimes Unit is continuing its investigation. Anyone in need of support can call the Sexual Assault Crisis Line 24 hours a day at the number on your screen. In Winnipeg, Mark Newfeld, City News.